package. All right, let's go check it out. Oh, good doggy. Welcome back, everybody, to another unboxing video. Today we got another package from MajorSurplus.com. Feel free to check them out. They always have a large variety of items on their store site. Again, MajorSurplus.com. Let's go ahead and open this. Let's see here. I think I'm actually opening from the bottom, just so we don't uh, have the mailing labels pointing upward at us and shining the light right back at us. So I might have to dig for the manifest at the bottom. Give me a second here. Okay. So. Okay. Well, looks like we have also just so you know. So it's a flyer. This is the January 2021 flyer. You may have already seen it, but it's multi-page. Quickly flip through it real quick. So they always have, like I say, a variety of items. We've got clothing, gear, larger items for surviving. As well as, uh, interest items as well. So, all right. There's a box, I guess, since everything comes in the bag. So, this time I actually ordered some different types of stuff. Because uh, summer's coming up and I like to read in the summer, so we'll get to those items. But, uh, hmm. Okay. I'm going to try to pull these out one at a time, but. Yeah, let's just slide the whole thing out. Uh, which should we go through? This one or this one? Whatever's closest. There we go. Big. So this is a US two-strap nylon duffel bag. I needed something to stuff uh, some large clothing items or uh, stuff for the car. See, we got the cinch point there. We got the large grommets at the top. Here's one end of the hook. Here's our two straps so they can actually be worn. And, uh, and some of you know you can always lock these things with a duffel bag lock. Get one of those. So you can see the straps, metal, uh, hear that? No fittings. Nice and long straps for a variety of adjustment. And the way they're stitched up at the top. Let's see if there's anything markings on the inside. Might get this out of view real quick. I don't think I see it though. There is a bit of a rubberized feel on the inside, so uh, that moisture from getting the inside. That's good. Nah. Let me see. Nope, that's just the reinforcement on the inside where that strap is sewn. So you can see it's actually protruding fully inside here when they sewed it into the bag itself. Um, yeah. No other labels that I can see. If I happen to notice any later, I'll shout it out in the description. But no, here's a pocket, a snap, a little bit of a dirt there, so this might be used. Here's a grab handle and US marking. There you go. Alright, so it did pay off to look a little bit deeper into it. So let's give it a full rotation. And the grab handle, the pocket, two straps coming to this side, 
Here's our main seam running down this way, double stitched. Well, back to the grab handle in the pocket. All right, so again, that was the US two strap nylon duffel bag. Next up, another bag item. Ah, something uh, I wanted to check out. This is the Austrian BUTT pack. Rubberized kind of plastic. No, you can see that synthetic feel to it. And uh, starting off at the top, this is well supposed to be able to attach to the waistline belt and then kind of hang underneath a regular pack. And then there's straps underneath so you can attach bedroll or small tent, whatever. Uh, doesn't fit on the upper packs area, etc. So here's a big, large center strap that can come through these fittings here. These are metal. All of them. You can see how they're actually kind of spring-loaded uh, tension there. You have some stamping there. Interesting. Drawstring working through the grommets, pre knotted, melted ends. Uh, no side pockets, but there are side uh, loop points to attach things. We got a little strap at the bottom. If we look on the inside, there is something a very small, kind of a. Yeah, it's fairly big. It expands a little bit. Another inner pocket that doesn't go all the way. Well, yes, it does. It does go to the bottom. So, again, it's the Austrian butt pack. So, I'll go with something else, straighten this out. So now we got some summer reading. I'm curious as to whether these were repros or actual. Uh, FM manuals, or however they are designated now. So, in no particular order, let's see what we got. We have the, in a notepad style, the Army, Marine Corps, Navy, Air Force, Survival, Evasion, and Recovery from the Air Land Sea Application Center, Multi Service Tactics, Techniques, and Procedures Manual. Da -da -da. It's an approved for public release. Distribution is unlimited. This was, or is, FM 21, 76-1. You can see all the other manuals as well. The numbers. This is classified as this. So, let's give you a real quick kind of flip through. So you see it's printed as a uh, facing towards you diagrams. Uh, let's see, do we have table contents? Index, how's our indexing? Here's our approval sign-offs, contacts, publication information, appendices, Chapters. No, I'm basically just going to read through the whole thing. Oh no, there is a. Let me see how there is some referencing. This is actually from here. Interesting. So it is a reprint. Okay, this one. TC 9 56, Department of the Army Training Circular for the SKS Rifle Simonov Type 56. Originally October 69, nothing on the back. It starts right off. Indexing and for note pages. Right to cleaning. So let's 
page. Maintaining. Parts breakdown. So a table of contents. Nope, just dives right into it. That's how these are. There we go. Give you a little taste of that. This one is Department of the Army Operator's Manual for the AK-47 Technicians for Victory. Reduced by the 203rd Military Intelligence Battalion. Barcode on the back. Let's see. This one does have table of contents. It has that typical, very... Oh, very blah print style font. That's not too bad. That's nice. Pictures and go back to that tech tech memo style. Ooh, very reminiscent. Very lots of pictures. I like that. Last page, service and training mission. Just give you a little taste there, the maintenance. You see a little pattern there, always the uh, Cleaning and maintenance at the very end of these manuals. So again, backwards. Operator manual for the IK-47. Simnoff Type 56. A little Siri summary. We also have the Austrian butt pack. Or U.S. Two-strap nylon duffel bag. These all came from Major Surplus. Dot com. Again, MajorSurplus.com. Feel free to check them out. I'm trying to get the U.S. label up there. But, uh, so, uh, feel free to check them out. A large variety of items. Feel free to check out some of our other unboxing or unbagging videos from other uh, purchases. Uh, we also do, uh, besides unboxing, some show and tell videos, as well as curios for the curious, more artsy type objects that we go over. Feel free to check those out. Feel free to like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.